off. I'm going to shoot a little update here of the, uh, the plumbing issue I was having uh, yesterday. Um, it's still weeping in a little bit, but it's not as uh, bad as it was. Uh, there's still a little moisture there. I don't know if you can see it, but, well, yeah, that's a pretty good shot there. But it was coming back all the way to here. So before uh, Carl comes out uh, this evening and brings me up that refill fill valve for the, uh, for the Toto over there, um, I'm going to go out there and... Uh, do the Noah's Ark test on the foundation and uh, spray it down real good and see if uh, if we don't get any leakage here. Okay? Alright y'all, we got the hose strung out and hooked up and uh, water on and uh, what we're going to basically do here is uh, we're going to uh, really uh, put the water to the foundation here. Um, a few years back, uh, well actually several years back, uh, we, we had old gutters on here and uh, they were they would overflow right there in that corner up there. And when they did, down there in the basement where I showed you that corner wall, right there where the, uh, let me get over here better. Right here where the porch and the house meet, right here in this corner right here, is the actual wall down in the corner of the basement. And when that gutter would overflow there, it would uh, come right down here and I guess it would, you know, like I said, find the path of least resistance and it would go straight down that wall right there. And I would pack that corner of that wall in there with that hydro cement, and uh, it worked for a minute, but then it'd find another way in. But uh, my good buddy Carl the plumber um, told me, he said, Fritz, you might want to, you know, pack some earth up around the foundation here and build it up. And uh, I actually had a bunch of, I, when I redid my fence not too long ago, I actually had a bunch of post hole dirt left over. So I actually, you know, mounted it up. And actually, it's done settled. It was up to, it was up to roughly here. And uh, but like I said, that's several years ago. But uh, we didn't have uh, hardly any problem whatsoever again. I mean, uh, a heavy, heavy, heavy downpour, we would uh, get just a little bit of water in and it would trickle over to the drain. But uh, it, it seemed to do the job. But uh, okay, I think I'm going down to the basement here. And there's that new shower we built uh, right there at the back of it. But uh, here's the corner I was talking about. Now that thing used to leak like a sieve whenever we'd get any rain. And once I uh, packed that uh, dirt in around that foundation, it seemed to have stopped it. It would actually leak right down there, and I know that ain't, don't look great, but that was before I knew anything. So I would pack that hydro cement in there trying to stop it, and it would actually leak through that too. But once I got that dirt compounded in there in that corner you know, that we just seen, it, it stopped it down here. I mean, if we had a big, big time rain, um, I might get a few drops, but last time it would it would actually flood up underneath the water heater and uh, You know up underneath the furnace and the pump and make its way back down here to the floor drain. It's roughly 130. I've had it running for a couple of minutes um, We're gonna try to simulate a, a Pretty good downfall here um, Puddling up pretty good now um, I believe during a rainfall, you know, it would probably actually be coming, you know, out this way more towards the bushes unless it was the wind was actually blowing this way so i'll probably leave it like this for a good 10 15 20 minutes and then i'll take it and i'll move it out here like this you know saturate it real good but uh let her flow right, right there for a minute heck for giggles let's uh take a peek at the meter and see how fast she spins with the hose running oh boy she's going to town Alright y'all, let me let it run for a while. Okay y'all, we've still got the water going to her. I just checked the, that meter out there to show y'all what, uh, what it looked like when she was spinning. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and mark the floor here and see if this, uh, this weeping comes out any further. Okay, I'm actually going to come back maybe a good quarter of an inch from it. Alright y'all. We'll see if she makes it to that line. All right, y'all, that line looked like crap. Let's come out like a, a good inch or so. So uh, let me let me mark it real quick. Okay, and you can see where she's wet right there. If she makes it out to that, we know that's what it is. Y'all, we've had her on here a good 30 minutes or so. I'm gonna adjust it a little more, so. Uh, We'll try to bring it back out this way, son. Get it good and soppy. 
so I'm gonna leave it on that for about 10, 15, 20 minutes or so. Hey y'all, we've had oh, it yeah. on here another uh, little over 30 minutes again, I reckon. I'm gonna switch her up and try to move her out further that way. But uh, we've already got leakage coming back down that uh, where I told you it uh, used to leak at in the corner of the abatement. Hey y'all, we're uh, getting a little moisture in when I had it close to that corner there. Like I said, that earth is uh, nowhere near what it used to be, but uh, see, she's coming in right there. But, so, uh, but anyway, just trying to see if we're uh, going to weep up there, moving that hose around a little bit. Oh, we've made right. another adjustment here, and we're going to saturate it over there a little bit. Um, just trying to get this earth really, really saturated. This thing on since uh, 130, about three and a half hours of simulated flood here. I'm going to go ahead and shut her down. It looks like we're, uh, we're getting some weeping. <laughs> go back with the Fluid Master Pro Series, Pro 45B. <laughs> Things gonna fit in that. Yeah, close enough. All right, close enough, huh? Rock on. So I do this in my sleep anymore. Say, I figure after 21 years I should, huh? <laughs> you are to me, Carl. So I can tear up anything in five minutes. That's why I always ask for your advice. I knew this thing was leaking without even knowing it was leaking by looking at that little triangle out there. Yep. So two sucks with the with the little vacuum dude out there and you're ready to rock. Oh yeah, dude. He was like five inches in a matter of minutes. Nice right there. Well, that's next level, Carl. You got your pocket knife with you? No, but I grabbed one. I didn't grab mine. You're good to go. I'm so used to the Gerber tanks and being up here. Oh, no, it's just unbuttoning that nut. Yep. Uh -huh. yep. That's all you do. Yeah, that's nice. That ought to be pretty close right there. I bet it's dead, huh? Cool. See, it keeps it above, so it won't back siphon. So it don't, so it don't siphon exactly. No drip. Fine adjustment on where it's going to be. Let's just 
just a little bit low. Bring it up that borderline. Got to get close to it. Mm -hmm. I should be able to get this about right on it. That's your fine adjustment, what I'm doing right there. Okay. Almost there. Perfection. Awesome, Carl. Easy. Thank you, brother. I got the refill valve installed. Did a great job on it. What did it take him like 38 seconds? <laughs> he is the man. Uh, we've concluded uh, pretty much 99.9% .9 that it's uh, it's uh, the foundation. Thank God. But uh, I'm still going to replace that stuff up there. But I don't have to get in all fired hurry to do it. Um, I can actually schedule everything and you know take my time doing it. But uh, anyway. Um, it's leaching through a little bit, not as bad as it was. I, I, I'm pretty daggone sure, you know, with the amount of rainfall we had, you know, that even though I watered the heck out of it, it's still no comparison. But uh, it's actually leaching out, but it actually made it to like about right here, but it's actually drying, it's drying back to it. But uh, anyway, uh, I guess that's as good news as we can get. But it turns out that uh, his brother Toby. He's in one of my videos where we were over installing at Carl's house, and uh, he's actually doing waterproofing now. So what he's going to do is uh, him and his buddy uh, on, is going to do it on the side. Him and his buddy is going to come over, and they're going to channel that thing out super deep, and they're going to put in some corrugated pipe. They're going to use that green corrugated pipe, that real hard stuff, not that not that black stuff. And uh, they'll lay that in there, and they'll put some waterproofing on the foundation and everything, and then uh, you know have it sloping down towards the uh, towards the edge of the house there, and. Uh, so I uh, reckon I'm going to holler at him tomorrow. But uh, just to make sure, uh, Carl gave me another tip. He told me just to take a pencil and uh, uh, draw it right there on the, on the big uh, era and just uh, go in the house and come back in about, come back out about an hour later as long as nobody's flushing toilets or, or using the water or anything. And that era should still be laying on that pencil mark. So uh, I reckon I'll update y'all with that tomorrow. And uh, I guess we'll have to get a little, I'm going to leave it like this for a while. And we'll get little brother out here to make like a little threshold type deal with this uh, tile here. We'll just extend it out here. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Take care. Holler soon.